Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel in another episode of Blasted Oasis. So, I've been working on the house a little bit last night. You notice that uh, our abrasion is, or our uh, fatigue is gone. I did have to go ahead and use the vitamin. The health bar didn't quite do it for us. Uh, we wouldn't be ready for the horde night if I hadn't used it up. So the vitamin is now gone. Uh, hopefully we can find some in the next little while. Um, but I've been kind of working on the place a little bit uh, on the inside. Trying to get things sorted a little bit here. I went ahead and filled all this in a little bit. Filled that. Once it's painted, it'll look a lot better. But i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the roof. I don't know if I'm going to leave this like this. I think I'll probably just fill it in. I might go ahead and from here grab... Um, where are you here? I kind of like this shape. You know? Whether it's like this... And then we just put the half slabs across and then do the same on this side. I don't know yet. Haven't quite decided. There's a bear outside. He's been out there all night. Hasn't heard me at all. It's been relatively quiet. No banging, no nothing. So, he's beating up on something out there. He's stuck. I think he's stuck in the fence. Sure, you just keep up with that, buddy. So that dog is still out there. This bear is still out there. Oh, I think he sees me now. I really don't want to waste ammo on this guy. But he's going to shred my fence. And he's going around back. And there's the dog. That was fast. Yeah, they hit me they hit me hard though. Took some good damage on that one. Get these guys sliced and diced. Then I want to go over and check out our roof. Alright, do that. Close that up. Do we have any repairs on this? A little bit, but we don't have any iron on us. I made sure we didn't use our iron last night. I was going to melt it into the forge, and I was like, ah, I better not. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Because I knew we, we may have to repair our stuff. Tonight, like hatches and stuff. He didn't hit any of that stuff. Didn't hit any of that. Alright. Cool. Cool. Oh, we got concrete on us. I better watch out. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. We got concrete now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this inside here. The place on the outside I'm okay with. This will probably end up staying. Uh, but we may be removing the plates out front to extend that out there. So if those get destroyed, I don't really care. But this will give us a little bit of uh, resistance to the enemy's attacks here. It's not a lot, but I mean, it's just that extra 2,500... Oh wait, 1,000. It's an extra 1,000 to what we already had. Um, we want to go up one more? How much do we have? Yeah, I mean... That's another 76 blocks if we want to use it. I think we're good. I think we're good here. Don't think we're going to need more than that. But what I want, I do want to do, I think, is around the back door, is just do this. I got to level in the process. Just to give it that extra bit of reinforcement. All right, now... Uh, that's emptied. Although, I, you know what I should do? This is all wood, eh? God, I got a lot of upgrading to do. I was going to say I should probably do all these stairs, but I should do everything. I cobble. <sighs> um, right. So I did move some stuff last night. That goes in there. That goes in there. I might as well... Th well, no. Let's go ahead and use one of these guys. And those can go in there. Um, 
Made a couple things last night uh, in here. Made some more bacon and eggs. Uh, almost made some more bacon and eggs. Apparently the last one didn't finish. And we made two pumpkin cheesecake for the next time we go bartering with the trader. Let's drop those guys down here though. I hope I remember to take them with me. Let's go ahead and use one of these. Because they're actually really good. I mean, 5% bonus at the trader is not that bad, but... Or not that great, but I mean, when you get the cigar that gives you 10, you know, those cheesecakes would give you 5 apiece. The sugar butch would give you 10. Um, the 5% bonus from the better barter and 20% from awesome sauce. It adds up huge amounts. Adds up bigly. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what do I want to do here? God, the angle. So terrible. I think we keep the angle here, though. I think the angle stays here. I know I said I was going to make a balcony up on top. Like a cr I, I guess we could. But maybe we make... I, I know I talked about this uh, before. That not flattening this roof off. But maybe we... F maybe that's what we do. The very first series I ever did with uh, Seven Days to Die, I built in the church. And the very top of the church, I flattened it off and put like a balcony out there, a place to go and sit, just hang out, you know. And I think maybe we do that. Maybe we go ahead and do that. We make a big uh, flat area up here that we can just come and sit and chill and hang out and look down rather than having this as the uh, thing. Now that being said, I probably should just... Um, gonna go ahead. Gonna make four of these guys. Well, we don't need to make four, but... Yeah, simple. I'm gonna put them here. I don't think they're gonna get on the roof. Honestly, I don't. I got a little bit of worry, but... I don't think they'll make it to the roof, but that's just to block them from getting up here. Then I can just fill this in. We can keep the angle here. I mean, I might change it later. You know what we might do? Excuse me, is expand this room in here. Let it come out a bit more right to over top of this. Let's fill these in. I'm just, I'm kind of timid to go out and actually do anything today. Because I'm worried that we're going to get an abrasion and get be fucked for the uh, horde night tonight. So I'm going to work a little bit on the house here. Just a bit for a while and then we'll go out. I don't know where we're going to hit up yet. Something easy. Maybe we take out that building over there. Friggin' bear is still here, huh? Okay, let's fill this in. Oh, we got another one at the back door. Because of course we do. He hasn't hurt us yet, though. You'd think he would have by now. But I think it's because of our muffled connectors. Because we're at like, I don't know, like minus, I know it said minus four on one, but I think it's actually minus eight or more now. Right? What are we at here? We got minus four. Oh, that's it. Minus four. I don't know. Oh, now he's hurt us. I'll be there in a minute. I'm just finishing up my roof. Give me a minute. Don't wreck my back door until I get down there. I hear you. Man, we're going to need a crap ton of wood. I could plant a forest on my roof. I've done that before. It's like, ah, this is one of those games we need lots of wood, eh? Okay, I'll just plant trees on my roof. Alright, can we get these guys? Ah, shit, I should be breaking these out. 
Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Crap. We'll just leave them. Alright, let's go smoke this bear. See if we can do it with melee. Alright, buddy. Did I reload? Did not. Come on. Get over here. There you are. I'm worried about him hitting me though. Look at that. I'm trying to glitch through that friggin' wall. If he gets in here, I'm dead meat. Where are you bastard? I keep forgetting I got the barbed wire mod on here, so he's like bleeding, right? Come on. Oh, I know you're pissed, but get up here so I can kill you. I already wasted enough ammo on bears today. I don't want to waste any more. Will he not catch fire? Oh, there we go. I was surprised he wouldn't catch fire there. I wonder if we should just bring that other bear over. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's get rid of him. Hey. Asshole. Call me an asshole one more time. Over here. Come on. Bring it in for a hug. There you go. Can't reach him. Wow, the bears really get tricked out in this game, eh? Like, I've seen mobs in other games get completely tricked out. The worst is when you're playing like a an RP, like a an MMO, and you can trick a boss out. I still remember playing Lord of the Rings online and like I joined this kinship and they had all these like exploits that they used to do for the bosses that made it easy to, easier to kill them. It was like they so it wasn't working as intended, right? So they just spent time figuring out all these uh, exploits that they could do for the bosses and it was like, yeah, that's what not what the game developers had planned, but it made it relatively easy for you know like, not newbie players, but players that weren't at the top of the game, let's just point that, let's just say it that way, to, uh, kill mob bosses and, uh, get some good gear, you know? And it was, like, it wasn't until, like, quite a ways into it that I realized that they were, like, cheating out the, the bosses and I'm like uh, shouldn't we be doing this the real way like I know it's harder but it wouldn't it be more fun <laughs> you know what I mean like then you, re you have really have a sense of accomplishment but it's like whatever whatever oh man so much crap now I wish we could do something with this rotten flesh like I don't know like, make rotten flesh scarecrows or some shit like that. I don't know. Okay, there's that. Let's go around front. Um, I don't think there's anything we need to do... ...per se out here. Let's go ahead, though. Um, 707. Want to collect some wood. Let's break this stuff up. Get rid of this for now. And I think we dropped this scaffolding today. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to be spending a lot of time working on the house today, right now, guys. So if you guys want to zip forward and watch the horde, feel free to do so. I don't know how much combat I'm going to be getting into before that time. But I do want to try and drop some... I don't know if I'm going to be able to drop this, though. I think it's going to be attached to the building. I bet you it's attached to the building. Alright, let's see if it drops. Nope. 
Because these guys are fucking attached to the building. God damn it. Yeah, they're all attached to the fucking building here. I'm going to have to break them all out. Well, I'm not going to do that now. I guess I should wait till I get... Uh... Yeah, these trees aren't going to grow any bigger than this, eh? I'm going to have to wait till I get steel tools and do it. It'll be so much faster. Let's gather some wood now, though. I wonder if I can get... Huh. I was just thinking that we should probably, like, make the uh, front yard all dirt. And get, like, a lawn going. And then just, like, put trees around outside here. To make it, uh, so we can't see, like, other stuff around us. And make it look like it is actually, like, an oasis. An oasis house. Right? We won't be able to see any of the nastiness around us. It'll look like we're in a good neighborhood. Although we're not, you know. Break all this shit out. Flatten it all out. Make the road look nice. Okay, we got a landmine right here. I'm just going to see if I can blow it up before uh, I step on it here. Don't know if it is a landmine or not, but we'll find out in a second. I don't think it is. Nope. I think that's a uh, hubcap. I'm wondering if these are hubcaps. All of them. I wonder if they're all hubcaps. That would be very interesting if they were. Well, at least after killing those bears, it's pretty quiet out here. Okay, let's pull this car apart. I don't think anything would, like, destroy this car on a horde night. Ooh, another... Oh, man, more motor tool parts and another tire. Maybe we see if we can get the schematics for the uh, 4x4. I mean, we're not going to be driving it all that often, I don't think. It's the gas that's going to be the biggest problem, right? That's why I like the, uh, the mini bike. It's got the best combination of fuel efficiency and storage space. It's got like six or sorry, three lines of storage. And um, which is pretty good. Even though it's pretty slow, it's still uh, good because it's like uses almost no gas at all. All right, let's take this out of the yard. All right, let's go drop some stuff off inside and get a drink. And then we'll come back out, keep working on the yard a bit. Maybe we try and take these blocks out. I don't know. The worst case scenario is they attack the back and then it's like... I don't know. I, th I think either door will be fine. Uh, I gotta remember it. Everything's over here now. Okay, you... All right, I gotta move the forges too at some point. We're gonna move the forges out of this room and I think I'm gonna put them in here, like along this wall here. And then this, I might turn into a kitchen. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I can, we can put a door going outside from in here. This could be the kitchen, I think, you know? But we'll see how it goes. I don't know yet. Uh, use three of these. Actually, let's use both of these guys up, clear up a slot here. Okay, and then how are we doing for food? We're okay. Alright, let's just start. Nope, I got a few hits in and I'm like, nah, I'm done. I can't do that anymore. Another fucking bear! That's four today. What the fuck? This can come out of here. Don't want them getting high up on the walls. 
This can come out. I like this fence because it's like, for some reason, it's hard for the bears and stuff to get through. I don't know why that is. They just kind of get tricky on it and they just get locked up on it. So I wish I could make these, these fences. I don't think you can, which is kind of sucky because it would be nice to be able to just like, it's forged iron too. Fuck. All right, well, that's what I can do about that. Okay, let's take this out of here. This one I think I can drop though. It's far enough away from the walls. Let's see if we can drop it. All right, here we go. Nope, it's attached to something. To that probably. Yeah, probably. It's easier to take the trim out though. Okay, nope. It's shocking how well this thing's holding on. Nope, that's not it. Oh, is it? Ha oh, man. It might be connected to the goddamn fence. Oh. Yep, it's connected to the fence. God damn it. Okay, this might do it. Nope. Because why would it do it? One, two, so it's not attached there anywhere. And it's not attached here anywhere. It's just float, is it attached? No, it's not attached anywhere down here. It's just floating. No, it's not. This whole bottom part is attached to the ground. Are you kidding me? This makes me wonder how a lattice work of poles, like wood or uh, metal poles, would work against the horde. There you go. Finally. Okay, that's got that cleared up. Now, let's get rid of some of these guys. And then these bottom frames can go. That way they they don't stand on these and hit the walls. Right? Okay, let's go ahead and do... Where's our hammer? Let's get these guys filled in. I wonder if we should do... Like that. Let's do these guys. You know, these posts might not work because if they get up on here, they're just going to bang on these rounds. I may have to take them out. All right, let's take the rest of this out. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and put this to concrete. Like we said we were going to do. I'm going to do that there too, I think. Get that on both sides. That's that stupid barrel back. Okay. Um, let's knock these out. Yep. I think we need to kill him before Horde Knight. So let's go around to the back door. Hey, buddy. Yep. 
Come on. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I'm right here, buddy. Come on. Come on. There you go. Let's play the game of bonk the bear on the head. Ooh. I guess you must have taken a lot of damage from that fence or something over there. That's the weakest ass bear I've ever seen. Either that or I'm ridiculously strong. I don't think it's that one. Alright. Back at it. Yeah, so the problem on this side is that it's attached to the building. So I gotta knock out all these pipes and then all the pipes along the bottom because it's attached to the ground too. Damn it. And this is all sand that we want to dig up. Alright, so that's pretty good I think. I think we're ready for tonight. I'm really not that worried I don't think. Although I have been talking about it a lot, so maybe I am a little bit worried. I shouldn't be though, I mean, let's face it, the difficulty is still um, one up from uh, the baseline. We got, we got um, Skull Crusher candies, you know, which we might use tonight, I don't know yet. Then we got um, extra reinforcement, extra defense. I know it's 12 zombies tonight rather than 8. We're going to go to 16 next time and then maybe we'll go to 24, 32, 64 as we go up. My Horde Control series, uh, I don't know what what uh, episode that'll be at by the time you see this one, but uh, for recording for me, the next episode is Horde, Horde Day 49 which is insane difficulty and um, 64 zombie horde night. So I think that's what we'll be at with this series too on day 49 if we're still alive. I'm really interested to see how this is going to develop and wor work out. I don't think it's going to last all that long. If like Insane zombies at 64, they'll tear this down like no problem. You really need this, like, you gotta control them. Like, that's why I call the, this the last series Horde Control. It's really taking control um, of where the zombies are and what they're doing at all times. Uh, and it's not an easy thing. Actually, is this concrete? Well, it is now. Um, so, yeah, it can be tough. But uh, it's definitely um, not necessarily tricky, but let's do this. Cause I got a feeling we're going to be dropping some pipe bombs out here tonight. Get that done, get this done. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I'm not going to go any more than that. See how it goes. I should be able to keep them off. With the number of pipe bombs we have... They're really, I mean, they're not going to have that much of a, a chance against us, I don't think. How much wood do we have? 1186. All right, I'm going to spend some time getting this floor filled in. Um, and then uh, we'll go up and prep for a horde night. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so we did a bunch of work downstairs. Uh, we've got to figure out what we're going to keep on us, what we're going to take uh, or leave here. All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff we can just dump over here now. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And then we got ammo. So you can go there. So where are you? Exploding arrows? Sure, why not? Um, all that stuff we can bring with us. And yeah, I think we're good. I mean, we don't need a lot for this horde. We've got concrete. We got, oh, we need forged iron. Uh, it's not in there. It's over here. It's in here. There we go. And we might as well leave the shovel here. We can leave, well, leave it on us. Why not? 
Actually, you know what? We don't need these three. Actually, we'll leave the knife on us. Uh, pipe bombs can come down. Mm, we're going to need first aid stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and drop you in there. You and you in there. Leave you in there because we don't need you on us. Um, I don't think we're going to need anywhere near this many pipe bombs, but we got them. In case we do. Uh, the bow can come back. We might use the exploding. Uh, let's get you hooked up. Just in case. I don't know if we'll use it, but we might. And let's get the coffee down here. Let's get... Uh, wow, we're really hungry. Take two of these with us. Let's take... We'll get the coffee on us, though. Let's just go ahead and use one of these now. Let's use one of these now. Um, yeah, I think we're okay there. And... I'm going to put that in there just in case. I don't think we're going to need this. Rockbusters, no. Where is my... Did we not buy Skull Crushers? I was sure we bought Skull Crushers. Unless I bought Rockbusters and, like, thought they were Skull Crushers. Or did I just say, ah, we don't need them? Which is probably what I said. Yeah, I'm sure that's what I said. Because, you know, smart. Um, oh, why are you in there? <sighs> Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Oh, water. Um, I mean, I don't think we'll need the water, but... Because we've got the coffee and everything. Gonna use one of these guys. We'll just scrap the can. All right, I think we're good. Oh, uh, meltables here. You can drop you off. And the what was I gonna drop in here? Oh, not this guy. This one. Ammo. Right. Keep these guys down. Might as well keep the coffee on the belt. What the hell? Um, yeah, I think we're good. Use that. Alright. Leave this one down. The back door is completely closed and repaired. Alright. This door is repaired. Yeah. Close it up. All right, we're ready for the Horde Knight. Just in time, too. Guns are reloaded. Yep. Club's ready to go. Oh, repair kits. Uh, where are they? We got three. Plenty. I should throw this on. Gives me plus one strength. Oh, there they are. Perfect timing. Look at that, guys. Okay, they're spawning at the back of the house. They're at the door. Damn it. Enjoy that. Well. Enjoy that too. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. We gotta take those blocks out. Gotta take those blocks out. This may be a pipe bomb night, guys. Alright, 
let's get our stamina up. Enjoy. Doge. It looked like that dog was turning around and waiting for people to show up so it could keep attacking. Oh, that fell on the inside. Doesn't matter. Screw you! Go away! We have so many pipe bombs, it's like... I'm just not worried about this horde tonight. I could spend the entire night just standing back and dropping pipe bombs on these guys. You know what I mean? Oh shit, you got in there, eh? I'll deal with you now. Oh, kneecap, big mama. Her arthritis is gonna be bad in the morning. Banging on something out there. There you go. Fell on the right side. Now I reinforced like all the way around here. The entire floor has been reinforced. The um. Oh shit, man. Really? Well, is that wood? No, it's no, it's concrete or brick. A fucking dog, man. There you go. Now, if this was an insane level horde, uh, they, they w that wouldn't even phase them. You'd have to drop one over and then drop another one. Drop an unlit one and then drop a lit one. Yeah, so before the next horde, this is going to be gone. We're going to put, um, hopefully we have a mixer by then. We'll make the walls concrete. And then this back porch should be gone. I could just wall it in, I guess. That might be easier. Several people have suggested that. But I really didn't think it was going to be an issue. I thought they would come to the front, but I guess because the front's got the double plates on it now. I was worried about that too. But I didn't want to go light on the defenses, right? That one night you go light in the defenses, you, you regret it, you know? Not even going to waste any more coffee on these guys. There's just no point. Those pipe bombs so do do so little block damage that it's like not using them is a shame, you know? This may end up being a short horde night. I think we're getting some ferals out here. I can't I can't tell from their eyes. But some of them are taking some good damage and like 
getting through it okay. Two dogs on there. Yeah, enjoy it. Come on, you fuckers. Are they at the front door? There are some here. I wonder if these... I wonder if some of them spawned... What the fuck? The dog got over the fence. Oh god, really? Now you piss me off. Lots of dogs there now. It made me pull the gun out. Anybody back at the front? Go hold that for me, will you guys? It's a lot bigger horde than I thought it was going to be. Okay, we've used 18. We're about halfway through the night. Now. I had a way to prevent the dogs from getting on this side. Hold that, will you? God, the volume of them just flying up in the air. See, I don't know if Moe's feral. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it by his eyes. But he took that pretty well. We're almost done here. Think that's it. You know, really working on not being fatigued for the next day. There's somebody beating on something out there. I that it'll make that much difference, but plus three, you never know. Alright, some more arrows. Some steel, some more, uh, oh, M60 schematic. This is going to be gone by next tour. I'm taking this out. This can't. This can't happen again. Look at that. They almost broke through this this time a second time here. They like they barely touched the con. Well, they, they touched there. I think that was dogs mostly. But they barely touched the walls. That's yeah. Like no block damage from the. Uh, like, almost no block damage from the uh, pipe bombs. So they're totally worth it. A little bit of damage here. A little bit here. Hopefully by the next Horde Knight that'll all be concrete. I might as well fix that. Yeah, it's kind of shocking though. That dog came through here too, the bastard. No bar damage. They, all, they broke that down to about half. Okay, so I mean... 
it could have been a hell of a lot worse. I'm glad we had all those pipe bombs. That really made a big difference on this one. But yeah, that back door's got to go. I'm convinced that that's the only reason. Like, the steps up are the only reason why they went to the back door. If those steps were gone, they probably would have come around the front. However, if they decided to beat through the walls... Somebody's still working on something over there. That would have been a different story. Alright, so what do we get here? M60 machine gun schematic. Let's go ahead and use that. We're not going to have... Um, we're not going to have enough... Um, what do you call it? Uh, machine gun parts or steel to be able to put that together anytime soon, but we can go ahead and make one. We can make a level two um, when we get enough parts. So yeah, and then a little bit of ammo, some water. Eh. Alright, well I'm gonna go get my... Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do anything about fatigue unfortunately, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, infection taken care of and then in tomorrow's episode uh man i guess we go to the trader and see if they've got i can't i don't think he had vitamins i would have remembered if he did but we're going to be on a vitamin quest i guess tomorrow we'll have to take it easy and go and see where we can find some i don't know where we're going to find vitamins though honestly i don't know where to find them So hopefully we can find some somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed that Horde Night. It was a little bit... I mean, it was well under control, but, you know, it is what it is. It could have been a lot worse. The exception of that one dog breaking through, we did pretty well. All right, and so we'll see you next time.